The Dream Gallery is a short horror size scholar game made with P5JS coding language, created based on my actual dreams. The main stage of this game is a house, a dream gallery. This gallery is filled with mysterious rooms decorated with scenes I dreamed of it in the past. You, or your user, become this white little kid trying to escape the gallery by unraveling the clues. I worked with P5JS to code this game, mostly using classes, functions, booleans, and arrays. I first started by creating a gray box version to rehearse how everything works, and then import real visual images. To break the scene by scene, each scene was numbered in functions by using the JavaScript switch statement. Key press function was used to create three main game keys. Key C to interact with the clue. Key X to pick up the items. Key C to use items. Also, the movement of the character worked with the left and right arrows. To keep my code neat and nice, I mostly used classes and organized them in the different files. The idea began by reviving my memories of dreams and sketching briefly what they looked like. I mainly used Photoshop to design all the scenes, characters, and items to look like pixel art, which is excellent to present an old video game vibe. The game begins with the title and instruction page where users can learn and practice their keys. The first scenes begin with the bedroom and a clue that the character can interact by pressing C. Following the clue, the character receives a silver key next to the pillow on which we usually put our head. Then, press C to open the door. The second scene is a room with a window that says the weather is nice. As the character goes down the stairs, we finally enter the main stage of the dream gallery. Since the right door is locked, the character goes to the left side, then enters a spooky room called Stuff Animal Room. Since an unknown creature is asking for the lights, our first task is to light up the room. Moving on to the next room, the character enters a dessert room full of all kinds of sweetness and finds a candle. Now it's time to light up the room. Here we are inside the stomach of the monster. Long story short, the red stuffed animal tells us to find the oddest thing in this house to escape this gallery and give us a special little gift. With this sword, the character escapes and stabs the wound more than five times to kill the monster. Now it's time to find the oddest thing in this house, which is the trickiest part of this entire game. Looking closely at the clock on the shelf, it says 9pm, which is odd since it's usually not bright outside at 9pm. So the oddest thing in this house is a window. I mean, an artwork. With this golden key, the character finally escapes the dream gallery. Which was also a dream. The overall story I tend to tell is that the whole process to escape the dream gallery, which displays dreams of the past, is actually an effort to escape from nightmares. The reason why the last golden key was hidden behind the artwork, which we thought of as a window, was to give a hint that this place was not reality. Opening the last door, the user found that the entire game was just a nightmare and the character itself was an unconscious desire to wake up from the nightmare. <laughs>